And we're here at uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. We're about to head down to Jacksonville, Florida, to Palatka, to be exact. And it's a scorcher today, 93 degrees outside. And this is graduation day for Duke, for University of North Carolina, for North Carolina State, for UNCC. Uh, all the schools here in the local tri uh, triangle area are graduating, so there's a lot of traffic here today. And that's why I'm getting out of here today so that uh, I'm not stuck here tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be even worse with the uh, traffic trying to get out of here. Uh, at any rate, glad to have you guys on board going Raleigh down to Jacksonville. bring the air conditioner and man. It is sweltering. We just had one person walk by. Just making sure nobody else is around. Uh, 
that's what they gave us uh, for when we can expect an update. Um, they might come out with something a little bit earlier. They might cancel the ground stop earlier than that, but just from an hour from now is kind of what they're prognosticating. Okay. with Foxtrot looking for clearance down to 28 Juliet.
Okay, now I've refiled. Good afternoon, citation, uh, citation uh, 130 Lima Mike, we're IFR to Alpha Dog Charlie with Fox Charlie. 130 Lima Mike, Charlie Clearance, you're cleared to the Allegheny County Airport via the PAC 7 departure, Roanoke Transition, Elkin, Indian Head, Nesto, November Echo Sierra Tango Oscar, direct. Climbing to maintain 7,000. Expect flight level 2A010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 134.3, squawk 6205. Okay, citation uh, 130 Lima Mike, clear to know again count is via the PAC 7, Roanoke Transition, Elkin, Indian Head, Nesto, direct 7,000. 180 in 10, 134.3, 6205, 130 Lima Mike. 130 Lima Mike, read back correct. And Lima Mike is a friend of mine. Air 69846, I have your clearance, advisory to copy. Ready to copy, 69846. Air 8846, you're cleared to the 2A Julia Airport via Raider Vectors, Victor 3, Sand Hills, Venice Files, climb and maintain 2000. Expect 10,000, 10 zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.3, squawk 2115. Okay, Lima Mike, Charlie Clearance, you're cleared to the Allegheny County Airport via Radar Vectors, Victor 3, Sand Hills as filed. Maintain 2000, expect 10,000, 10 zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.3 on the freak and 2115 on the squawk. Air read back, correct? Um, those guys are flying to Citation LS, uh, good friends of mine, and uh, they're doing just a round trip up to Pennsylvania and back. Uh, I don't know if they have any packs, but they're, they are doing a training flight. And I hope to get right seat uh, with those guys here in the next month or so, but we'll see. Okay, we're going down to 2A Juliet via Radar Vectors to Victor 3, Sand Hills as filed. And let's, uh, let's get that plugged in. Okay, that might get be of use. Let's go with this one. Ready to roll. Nine, 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 nine
Okay, plug 2000 in for our limits. And now let's uh, get our taxi. One, two, five. And ground, twin Cessna 69846 with the uh, uh, Foxtrot, ready to taxi from Tech Air. Twin Cessna 69846, Raleigh ground, proceed up to hold short of Juliet, information Foxtrot current, altimeter 3002, wind T705. Up to hold short Juliet, 69846. On the ground, Archer, eight, uh, correction, Archer 299, Papa Alpha, Juliet 3, ready to taxi with Foxtrot. Cherokee 299, Papa Alpha, Raleigh ground, runway 23 left, taxi via Juliet, Alpha 8. 23 left, Juliet, Alpha 8, 999, Papa Alpha. Juliet 846, follow the Cherokee, runway 23 left via Juliet, Alpha 8. Follow the Cherokee, Juliet, Alpha 8, 6946. is going to spot up here, Alpha 8 for us, short run up. Rally ground 658, Alpha's clear, one way, 2 3, running taxi signature. Rally ground, TBM 924, Whiskey Papa, Charlie and Alpha for Julia 3. November 924, Whiskey Papa, Rally ground, uh, taxi via Charlie, Julia to the ramp. Charlie, Julia, for Whiskey Papa. November 130, Mike Pool, 2 hold short of Julia, I have 1 inbound to the ramp. Hold it short of Julia, 0 left, uh, Mike. Rally ground 658 Alpha is clear by way 23 right taxi signature. Southwest 4745, continue via Alpha. Continue via Alpha, Southwest 4745. Southwest 4003, after opposite direction, company traffic, you can proceed via Alpha to the ramp. Alpha company, Alpha to the ramp, Southwest 4000. November 130. That tower, 20 Cessna 6946, holding short, 2 3 left, right. November 6946, Shaw Tower, Roger. And number 846, you're going to follow an American MD 80 off your right. 846 will hold for the MD 80. Okay, I haven't said a lot because it's gotten a little busy and uh, I want to make sure that 2338 will be ready here at the end of uh, 23 left, 20, you can let us go. American 2338, Roger. Tower, Roger. Number 9, Papa Alpha, for now, fire runway heading, runway 23 left, clear for takeoff. Number 8, 23 left, clear for takeoff, 9, Papa Alpha. Number 4, 4, Alpha, turn right at Charlie 1, hold shorter, runway 23 left, stay with me. Right, Charlie, hold shorter, 23 left, with you, just hold up. American 2338, runway 23 left, line up and wait, traffic across downfield. Okay, line up and wait, 23 left, American 2338. And Raleigh Tower, Citation 130, Lima Mike, ready for departure, 23 left. Citation 130, Lima Mike, Raleigh Tower, Roger, you're going to be falling southwest, off your right. Falling southwest, 0, Lima Mike. Number 4, file for cross runway 23 left at uh, Charlie, traffic holding in position. Cross Cedar, Lima Charlie, 7, 4, Raleigh. Number 9, Papa Alpha, when able, turn left heading 160. 160, 9, Papa Alpha. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves ready for takeoff here. This is going to be uh, a little quick. Got an MD-80 and a uh, 737 and a Citation 
all uh, lined up here. American 2338, fly runway heading, runway 23 left, clear for takeoff. Okay, we'll fly the runway heading 23 left, clear for takeoff, American 2338. Charlie Tower, line 2, runway 32, taking right close traffic, don't fly over, fly 23 left. Line 2, roger. Number 69846, runway 23 left, line up and wait, caution, wait, caution, wait, 69846. Hey, Ryan, pop out, connect departure. We are, uh, the wake that we're concerned about, of course, is down here on the runway because we're going to take off before he does. Our takeoff distance is shorter than his, so we don't have to worry about it down the field. Just have to give it time to dissipate. One more check. Raleigh Tower, blue line two. Can I get kilo inbound for Juliet one? Blue line two, uh, Roger, approved. That's a question. Hold short, Raleigh two, three left. Blue line two, what was that? Blue line two, proceed right. inbound, hold short of runway two, three left. Blue line two, proceed kilo inbound for two, three left. And okay, we're good to go. American 2338, contact departure today. Over departure, American 2338, we'll see you. November 846, fly heading 160, like 23 left, take off, caution, wake, turbulence. 160 after takeoff and caution, wake, 6946. Southwest 4745, right, turbulence, 23 left, line of wake. Air speed is good. Seventy knots. Blue line two, you can see across the runway, uh, two, three left, landing and knots. Land, that's actually Juliet one. Back pressure. Blue line two, clear to land. Gears coming up. And blue line two, traffic will be a uh, home position, runway two, three left. Blue line, got it. And we're going over to 160 as soon as we get about 500 feet here. Stay out of his wake. Remember, 846, uh, fly heading 180, maintain 3000. 180, 3000, 69846. Remember, 846, contact right. departure. And over to departure, 69846. Thanks for the help. And departure, 27, 69846, coming to 180. Six nine or eight four six Raleigh departure radar contact. I'm maintaining four thousand. Four thousand one eight zero six ninety four six. Okay, we're at one twenty, which is where we want to be. Taking our engines, we're at four twenty four hundred four oh eight. That's expected. We got full power going, and we're just a little over fifteen hundred feet. So that's good to bring the bring the power back. I'm going to come back from 2,700 RPM down to 24. November 0, Fox Trot, Lima. The current track, or the track I was calling to you before is uh, currently 12 o'clock, 4 miles inbound to Sanford out of 1,100 indicating. And there's additional traffic just north of Phil Phil altitude in Cape 600 feet. Hey, Fox on Lima, looking for traffic. And 469846, was that 3,000? November 846, 4,000 for now. 4,000, 469846. November 
to the traffic does have you in sight at this time. Uh, change your advisory frequency approved. I'll keep this code for you when you come back out. Hey, Mama, thank you. Hello, Ali, uh, 0 Fox Shot Lima, Delta Sanford is fine. Would like to cancel flight following? November 0 Fox Shot Lima, Roger Raider, service is terminated. Squawk VFR, please change. Approve, good day. Squawk VFR, Raider 378, Squawk, we're going to change to. Thanks, 0 Fox Shot Lima. Bounced around just a little bit down here. Uh, we're at 3,000 feet. Uh, we're getting right at 1,000 feet per minute at 120 knots. Medivac 5 Echo Charlie, contact rally approach 134.3. Good day. 134.3. Good day. November 846, fly heading 210. Two one zero six nine eight four six. Over to two one zero. November eight four six. Climb and maintain eight thousand for now. 6946. I had uh, an air conditioner, but I don't have it right now. And you better believe the next time we're out flying, we're going to have that. We're going to let the autopilot take over. Power 9, Papa Alpha, he has antennas 12 o'clock, 4 miles in sight. Yeah, that's inside, 9, Papa Alpha. Gotcha. Uh, even when the autopilot is flying, I still am. Um, ready to overpower it if it's going in a direction of doing something that I don't feel safe with. I don't completely trust it, but I trust it. <laughs> if that makes any if that makes any sense. One zero ten thousand six nine eight four six. Six minutes into the flight, and we're passing, uh, coming up on five thousand feet. And I think I've sweated about a half gallon. Well, that's a good way to weight loss, I guess. Engine temps are down, that's good.
Okay, we're passing 6,000. We're eight, uh, almost nine minutes into the flight. So you can do the math. We're doing about uh, six, seven hundred feet per minute. I had this. This is a little fan that takes in air and blows. Early departure, Twin Star, 490 Alpha Golf, climbing uh, 1482. Blows it. 490 Alpha Golf, early departure, radar contact, CFR climb to 4,500 of this. CFR up to 4,500, 490 Alpha Golf. I'm here to say that blowing hot air does not help. That's what it was doing. But nice try. Uh, general aviation. This is the only part of general aviation right, that, three nine, three delta. Three nine, three delta that I want to complain about, and that's the air conditioning. In the summertime, in the mid-level latitudes here, that is uh, below the mason Dixon line, it can be brutal. And basically, you have to, I have to get 8,000 or above just to get any relief. Uh, even then, it just gets up into the 50s and 40s. Four nine zero Alpha Golf, on course. Sometimes. Four nine zero Alpha Golf on course. And in midsummer, it only gets down to, into the 60s, 60, 60 degrees. Seven nine Papa Alpha, there appears to be traffic in the pattern at uh, Johnson County at this time. They get for nine Papa Alpha. Sorry. Seven nine Papa Alpha, just appears to be like there's pattern work at Johnson County at this time, of less than a mile east of the field 1,100 indicated. Roger, we're uh, listening to them. I won't cancel uh, flight following. No, no, Papa Alpha, Roger, Radar Services for me. Squawk VFR, great change, Bruce, have a good day. Squawk VFR, great day, uh, it's 90 Papa Alpha. November 846, contact Dave Zilfro, 125.17, good day. 1517, 6946. They'll approach 20 Cessna 69846 out of 7,000 for 10,000. November 69846, they'll approach 5 and clear altimeter 3001. 0016946 All right. Um, some of you have asked about the panel, so we're going to one Charlie Papa traffic two o'clock eight miles northeast south altitude to indicate nine thousand five hundred. I'm going to give a quick tour of the panel. Roger, uh, Niner 1, Charlie Pop, I probably will not see them. We're above a uh, dense thing of uh, build-ups here. Going to use... Uh, right and other column fables, say again? This camera to do it. So first, going... Kronos 1849. We're going to be going from the, uh, the left side of the panel over to the right side. And in particular, the F side that's in front of the pilot is the tactical section. This is for attitude of flight, condition of flight. Two, nine or two. If you're not on it, change to my frequency one three three point zero. The same, not the same. A minute, two times. And this is, of course, the primary uh, for looking at where you're going, what your attitude of flight is, what your uh, bank angles, altitude. Any of that information is where we are primarily looking here. This Aspen also shows other information about navigation, but again, this, this right here is primary. And as for six pack, this part of the Aspen, the top half of the Aspen, and I'll show that uh, with this other video. Top half of the Aspen represents the uh, six pack and shows you all the information of uh, your normal six-pack instruments. And the bottom half is your HSI and navigation. And when I say six-pack, I'm referring to airspeed, altitude, VSI, turn and bank. 35.3 down to the top. Your attitude, Thirty two thirteen contact mile east of Lumberton altitude in the case. 1,800 and, and navigate uh, course. For three separation services will be provided. That will be the six pack that uh, uh, the traditional six pack. Okay. So, anyway, on this side, 
There's also a strike finder. The strike finder shows any effective activity within it can go out to 200 miles, but generally I put it in at 50 miles, and right now it's not showing any. On the other side of that is an EGT, analog EGT. Was that Iron Horse 1 1? Above that is the VSI for your. Uh, well, I'm a little distracted because I'm making sure I'm not going to go into that cloud because there is some updraft activity that I don't want to be a part of. Iron Horse 1 1, you said Charlie. Echo anyway, Indian? back to this uh, the VSI that shows your. Um, up and down. Horse one one uh, Roger. Stand by. I'll call you right back. Instantaneous. We're call the place. Oh, okay. Close that for you. Sure. This is a broken NSD 360, which is an HSI and uh, and compass. Generally, you would set this to the compass before the flight, or you know, after you started up. That going. Eight two Quebec. Uh, it is electric. And above that, altitude. Observe between you and the airport. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change proof. Over on the other side, airspeed. Indicated airspeed. Below that is your turn and bank, and also this is the autopilot. This is the S Tech 30. You see the S Tech uh, information there. Their logo. And uh, that's where the S Tech 30 is housed. How did you spell the phonetic spelling for the call and when you found it? So that constitutes the tactical side of things. Then on the strategic side for navigation and where we're going, we have this part of the panel in the center section. And there's this Garmin 530 WAS, a 430 non WAS, a 696. It's just a regular 696, it just happens to be panel mounted. Above that is a PS8, PMA 8000 by PS Engineering for the audio intercom. And then over on the other side is the 330, GTX 330 Garmin for doing a S mode, mode C. And it also does ADSP. Turn 15 degrees left vector for traffic, and uh, I'll see if I can get you direct to Savannah here momentarily. 15 left for traffic, uh, 6946. Okay, hold on. Miss this build up here. We're sitting on fire. November seven six zero seven echo contact. See where Johnson approach one two three point seven. Good day. Just off the flight service, the flight plan is closed now. No problem, have a go. Call wind center 571, stable approach, altimeter 3001, descend and maintain 9 or south. We're coming up on 10,000, so we're going to level out. I'm going to go 50 feet above and then push down so that we can gain some airspeed and get to cruise speed quickly at the assigned altitude. There's 10,000.
through these because in them there is turbulence. So uh, I still avoid these. If you see any uh, clouds that are long and tall, stay away from them. 32, 13. It's not a pleasant flight. Uh, the short flat ones or just uh, the ones without the, the humps on top, non, uh, non-threatening ones, uh, those you can fly through no problem. But these, uh, no. Okay. Looks like he's gonna keep us on this pre- for, on this uh, altitude for a bit. We'll finish up with the cockpit tour. Point center, 571 contact. Raleigh so in the center again is the 530 WAS, 430 non-WAS, the 696, the 530, 696, and the Aspen, all coupled. Uh, as in they are, are linked and they show whatever I put into one it shows up on the other. The 430, because it's a non-wash, is not linked to the 530. That's uh, wash and non-wash are different. So even though they use the same RS-232 uh, communications, they cannot sync up flight plans. Okay, over on the right side is all the engine instrumentation. Across the top, there are the two analog engine instruments, and then the manifold, and the RPM, and over here is an EDM 760, and right next to that is the fuel gauge, and the fuel which shows the tip tanks, and the auxiliary tanks, going back to showing the tips, below that is the outside air temperature, Suction or vacuum for left and right. Uh, do you want to go up 10 for now? Or and then and eight, uh, don't take the magical instrument is the shape of fuel flow. Boundary. Just a great device to have because it shows actual fuel used. So if you know how much you put in, this will show you how much fuel you're actually using. Uh, discretion. And it is accurate. And, uh, Below that, this was a $5 device that I added for to be able to charge USB. And you have to be careful about the USB devices that you add because they can... Right and left, of course, approved. This device is direct charge. They can inject noise into your comms. And so I went through about four or five before I could find one that uh, was not injecting noise. And so that's the cockpit. And with that, um, we're about uh, 22 minutes into the flight. And we're set up for cruise. And so we'll stop the video here so that I don't bore you guys too much. And uh, the rest of it is just going to be sitting here and dodging a few buildups until we get down to Jacksonville. Hey, Tim J28, uh, Roger, maintain 7,000, traffic 1 o'clock, 5 miles southwestbound, altitude indicates 6,600, not in contact with me. Aircraft is one o'clock, five 
miles southwest sound out, see the heat, 6,500. Okay, the last thing I'll talk about before this part of the video ends is about the engines and um, keeping them happy. Damage at 828, tell you what, are you able to take a 300 heading that way? Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to keep climbing or not. Yep. Damage at 828, fighting 300, and uh, once you're past the traffic, you can expect back to rectum down 6 out. So for any of these uh, internal combustion engines, uh, keeping them happy is important. 3213, right? Change the Both for the longevity of the engine and for cost, fuel cost. So generally, uh, there are there are some pilots that want to really keep. When they fly at cruise, they really want to go lean and deep. Twenty-eight, clear direct Charlotte. Seven eighteen, six thousand. Traffic's now ten o'clock and three miles. Same out. Yes. Which, if you're looking at a power curve, it's like any Python distribution or normal distribution, where there's a a peak uh, peak point of power, and then left to right of that is going to be uh, lean or rich of peak. I fly about 50 to 100 degrees rich of peak on the rich side rather than on the 50 degrees lean of peak side. Now, not to start any holy wars about lean of peak, but it's easier for me to uh, to stay on the right side, on, on the rich side of peak than try to calibrate on the uh, on the left side or the lean of peak. And that's not because I don't know how to do it, it's because I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, the not wanting to do it just has to do with, there are not a lot of bad things that can happen to your engine staying on the rich side of peak as long as you're within about 50 to 100, 100 degrees richer peak. But if you go too far lean of peak, uh, not that there's something bad, but uh, engine cooling is better on the lean of peak side because you're not putting in as much heat or energy. The same thing is true about the number of uh, RPM. At higher RPM, because there are more explosions per minute, that means there's more heat generated by the engine and more heat that has to be dissipated by cooling, by the cooling fins or by the cowl flaps or by air across the engine. So the more RPMs or the more energy that you're using to put out into those propellers, the more heat that's generated. And so that's why in cruise you want to come back on uh, the power generally. Now, a lot of people fly in the green arc at the top of the green arc. And that's fine, you can do that. But uh, again, I like to keep the engines uh, so that they can last beyond TBO. And um, running mid level in the green, which is about 2300 RPM is where a lot of all of other pilots have told me they found good success, and that's what I use as well. Uh, that's the last thing I'll talk about. I've gone on much too long. Thank you guys who have stuck around to hear most of this. You can see this build up ahead of us. We're gonna go around this to the right, and um, we're gonna let him know that in just a moment. Anyway, I'll pick you guys up on the other side. Welcome back. We are descending into, well, not descending currently, but we're level at 8,000 on approach into Jacksonville. Uh, we got Jacksonville about uh, 20 miles off of our right-hand side. Uh, Craig Airport directly ahead, and uh, Craig is about 10 miles ahead. And we're about uh, 18 minutes before we land. At 6946 is level at 8,000. November 6, 846, Jacksonville approach. Roger, long clear. Flight has gone pretty well. We are two hours and 13 minutes into the flight with 17 minutes left to go, or thereabouts. We've used 
59 gallons, and uh, we're predicting that we got about 8 gallons to go. For a total of 60, it'll be about 67, 68. Anything under 70 gallons will be will be good. November 3, Mike, Alpha Fly heading 320, maintain 2000. 320 down to 2000, 400 Mike Alpha. November 0, Delta X ray, turn 10 degrees right, vector descent. One of my cameras has died here. Yeah. Oh well. Y'all take care. November 0, Delta X-ray, let's come back to a 160, heading maintain 2000, thank you. November 3, Mike Alpha, turn left, heading up 230. Left 230, 400, Mike Alpha. November 846, descend to maintain 5,000. 846 out of 8,000 for 5,000. November 1, Charlie Papa, Jack's folks, loud and clear. 1, Charlie Papa, come back, Jack. November 9, Charlie Papa, say again. Uh, 1, Charlie Papa, just hand it off to you. I'll roger that. November 3, Mike Alpha, you are 10 miles from the Craig Vortex, turn left heading 160, maintaining 2,000 until established on a final approach course, cleared to VOR 1-4 approach circle to run like 5. Heading 160 on uh, 2,000 and heading in South Beach on uh, VOR 1-4 approach circle to run like 5, Mike Alpha. Twin Cessna 846, descend to maintain 3,000. 846 out of 8,000 for 3,000. Check the first command to 154, Mike, we do have for 3,000. Number zero, Delta X-ray, clear for the visual, one tree, St. Augustine, radar services are turned in. Please keep the code and contact the tower, 2762, we'll see you. Good. We're going to uh, continue our descent. Mike Alpha, contact Craig Tower, good night. At 5,000. Good day, St. Mike Alpha. At 500 feet per minute. November 9er, Bravo Charlie, traffic 1 o'clock, 4 miles. 
Maneuvering 1,600 indicated. And that's right at about two and a half degrees. Two and a half degrees down uh, to get that. And yeah, that's almost, well, it's speed dependent, of course, but generally it's uh, at any of the cruise speeds, uh, two and a half degrees down. We'll get you somewhere around 500 feet per minute. Vectors, radar vectors. We're going to do vectors uh, to the final. Actually, he may. We may just uh, go visual for ourselves, depending on the traffic. And let's listen in to see what kind of traffic we're getting. the weather, but I'll uh, put it up in a second for a So there's somebody using 1.7. The winds are from 1.40. Uh, we're going to be using 9. Okay, 
we're uh, down at 5,000 feet. Temperature has warmed up to 64 degrees, and it's going to get up to about uh, 85 or so. Come up, shall we say again? Well, there's not a lot of traffic on the four three one uniforms crossing zero nine and two seven to Charlie. There's not a lot of traffic yet. One one eight point one seven six nine eight four six. Good night. Okay, we're back to that. We're Charlie Smith, Visual Bird, Runway 18, Contact Hill, Cowan Towers. We are 18 miles from uh, the airport. Yeah, the airport in sight, actually, but uh, we'll stay with these guys for a little longer. And Jax, Twin Cessna 69846 out of 4,000 for 3,000. Six nine or eight four six. Six nine or eight four six. Six project seven three zero zero five. Going to maintain two thousand miles near the airport. Eight four six down to two thousand. Will advise six nine eight four six. That eight four six has their port in sight. Let's see that eight four six. How do you intend to cancel the IFR? Eight four six. We'll go ahead and cancel with you now. We got the airport in sight. Six nine eight four six. IFR cancellation with speed. Stay on that beacon call. Bring us a change of route. Stay on the beacon and bring change of route. Six nine eight four six. Thanks for the help. Four nine one four seven ten. You can. And this is where setting this second navigator up to the destination comes in handy, uh, where you don't have a DME on board. Well, actually, this is a DME. Uh, this tells you the distance to the airport. You can also look and see. We're a little more than 10 miles, or actually 11.9 miles. And we're going to be setting up for a, a left base in the nine. Palaka traffic, Twin Cessna is 10 miles to the north and landing 9. Palaka traffic advisories, please. Feet. We're going to go down to um, a little further to 2,000. We'll hold at 2,000. Until we enter the actual right base. Uh, left base. Hey, so. traffic. Cessna 49142 is 6 miles south of the airport at 2,000. We're going to make straight to 5. Mary County traffic. Fed up to there. Plantation. Let's look at our checklist. Uh, 
to the northwest, entering a left base for nine. Black. We're at 2,000 feet. And we're going to come around to 180. This is our base leg. We're at 2,000 feet to give us visibility below us for those that are at pattern altitude for the uh, traffic that might be at pattern altitude. Gives us better visibility and also gives us an escape. And we're going to start our, our descent. I put it at, right at about 2,100 RPM to get, keep us right at the top of the white arc. Uh, so that we can deploy the flaps in here. And uh, 2,000, of course, we got a little ways to go to get down, so we can start down now, putting the flaps down and the gear. By doing that and bringing the power back to 19. 19 inches, 2,300 RPM will give us 650 feet per minute descent. We got the airport in sight. We're looking for traffic. We didn't make, didn't hear any calls. We're going to make a couple more calls here. Palaka traffic, Palaka traffic. Twin Cessna is four miles to the northwest on a left base for nine. Traffic advisories, please. make it a thousand is because it's a stabilized approach and I think I know the airplane well enough that we should be on target. Let's see where we are on my turn here. And Palaka traffic, twin Cessna turning final for nine, three miles, Black. Back on the power a bit. Go full flaps. And do our last checks. The lack of traffic, Skyhawk 61942, holding short 35. And Palaka traffic, Twin Cessna, short final for nine, Palaka. 
17, sorry about that. I, I believed you were on 17, but thanks for the uh, heads up. We'll be clear in about uh, one minute. All right. Over the fence, we're at 90, which is good. And we'll bring the power back just a little more. Some of these guys still try to go. And twin sets is clear at Charlie for nine Palanca. And again, thanks for waiting. No problem. Uh, when there's not a lot of traffic out, like today, there just seems to be the one person. It is uh, nice to just communicate with folks and tell them hi and bye and all that kind of thing. I enjoyed it. Anyway. Palaka traffic, Skyhawk 942, taking off runway 17, southbound departure. Palaka. And Palaka traffic, down for two, departing, one across from one, one, seven, last call, Palaka. All right, folks, thanks for uh, flying along. I hope it wasn't too long and uh, it was informative. I enjoyed having you guys aboard. Uh, we're in Palatka. This is Palatka 28 Juliet. Uh, and I'm home based here. And I'll see you on the next trip. Actually, I'm going into annual for the next week or so. And uh, I'll give you an update on that as well. See you guys.